Get Out There Outdoors is proud to represent the following. You can find them all on Facebook. Wall hangers. Display that European mountain pride. MWD Outdoors. Make them take a dirt nap. A to Z Game Calls. Specializing in custom slate calls. Crime 1 Camo. Be the Predator. Deer Tracks Plaques. For some top quality displays. Hi guys, I want to talk to you about buck bedding here a little bit. Uh, and a few of the things to think about when you're trying to hunt that buck uh, in its bed or get really close to his bedding area so you can catch him in the daylight hours. Um, you know, when the rut and stuff gets here, they're going to be moving a little bit more through the day. But, you still got to kind of get close to that bedding area sometimes. Some of these mature deer, especially if you're hunting pressured land, will just not move very far. Uh, you know, another thing, especially like in, I feel like the month of October here, uh, it's... It's, it's tough because there's acorns everywhere. You know, that buck can stand up and start eating acorns. And, you know, it might take him two or three hours to move 100 yards. And by then, you know, it's, it's done dark and you're done past shooting light. <clears throat> you know, you're getting out of your stand and you're making all kinds of racket and you bump him off. And he knows, he knows where your stand location is now. So, with that said, I'm going to kind of go over a few things as to how a buck bed's kind of set up and how it, he... he how he positions himself uh, in that bed okay a buck himself is going to play the wind in his favor okay you got to understand that whenever you go out to hunt you're always trying to get the wind in your favor when a buck is in his bed the wind is in his favor all right a buck will be set in a position normally normally where he is on a downhill slope to where it gives him a good range of visibility down below him okay just like would be no different than you sit on a ridge top and looking down all right he's going to position himself in that spot when the wind is at his back all right so with the wind at his back he can smell everything behind him and the visibility is all out in front of him so he's got his his, his sight and his and his and his scent uh scent uh, both work in his favor, okay? That's how that buck's going to be protected the best. What you've got to do as a hunter, all right, it's not just getting close to that bedding area with the wind in your face because you got to make sure you know where that bedding area is, for one. That's where scouting is going to come into play. And you're going to want to know what that visibility range is of that buck, okay? In order for you to get to play the downwind side of that, you've got to be set up out of his sight all right because the wind is on his back blowing out across through there so in order for the wind to be in your face you're gonna to have to be with out of his sight all right and hopefully that buck moves that way generally they don't generally when a buck gets out of the bed they still keep the wind in their favor he'll get up and he'll head into the wind because he knows it's safe that way <clears throat> okay so with that said, how do you hunt this buck? Well, you're going to have to try to play an off wind. All right. Um, with an off wind, what you're going to do is you're going to try to figure, you're going to do your scouting and figure out where this buck is bedded. All right. He's going to be out on that ridge point out here in the hilly country. That's what I'm mostly talking about. You're going to want to try to see what the elevation of that is. All right. That's where these good, uh, nice topo maps and stuff come into handy. With the wind blowing directly to his back, you're gonna to wanna to try to position yourself upwind of that buck. It sounds stupid, I know. Because a lot of us have been trained over and over and over, never put yourself upwind of the bedding area. I understand that. But how many of us out there have shot 180 inch, uh, five, six year old deer, you know? Not many. But the guys that do it, this is how they do it, okay? You've got to play the wind in your favor. Okay, the buck is already set up with the wind in his favor. You've got to just squeeze by, all right? Let that buck think that he is completely safe when he is approaching you. So if you're set up in a situation to where that buck is gonna come out of his bed and head upwind, okay? Normally, that buck won't drop down into a draw and come around, normally he won't come straight over top of the ridge top and expose himself either. <clears throat> this is where trail cameras and stuff are gonna come into play a lot. 
to pay attention to how that buck leaves and enters his bedding. This is why I always uh, preach about whenever you're looking through your trail cameras as to have a record to look back on as to the wind directions that day. To, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to pay attention to how this buck travels with a certain wind and predict when he's going to move and where he's going to move, okay? So with just an off wind, okay, you're going to want your scent to just squeeze past him, all right? You're going to want that buck to think, there's nothing up wind to me. I haven't smelled anything all day. There's nothing up there. And he turns and comes up wind of you, up to, up wind towards you, you're going to be just off to the side. Your scent's going to be blowing down just past him, okay? That's what, that's... That's going to be where you're going to be shaving the sides of it a little bit. You're kind of pushing it, pushing the issue a little bit more. And you and you're and this will allow you to get a lot closer. Okay? I'm not going to say it's going to work every time. I'm not going to say you can go out there and try it 100 times and it's going to work once. <laughs> but what I am telling you, this is a way to sneak in closer to that bedding area. And be able to get this guy before daylight hours are up. Okay? Squeeze in there nice and tight, upwind. Try not to cross his wind. You don't want him to wind you. You're going to want to kind of sneak in up and get set up without your wind ever crossing his path. All right? You're going to have to know where that buck is. And another way to do that is, is through proper scouting. But uh, just let's take that into mind that hunting downwind of the animals you intend to kill is not always the answer. All right, guys, I'm kind of rambling on here. The video's starting to get long. But uh, anyway, uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. You guys can find us on Facebook. Uh, you're more than welcome to ask us any questions or comments down below. If you need to know more or want to know some more, uh, just give me, give me a shout. I'll, I'll be more than willing to, uh, to try to help you out, uh, maybe even uh, do a visual uh, as to what I'm actually talking about here. Uh, so if you guys would... Uh, Hit the subscribe button and uh, look us up on Facebook. All right, guys. Y'all finally get out there.